What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today, we are doing a Friday video, but to start off the video, we are going to pick a random winner to win the four Tropical Beaches on PTCGO. If you don't know how to give away uh, four Tropical Beaches, one random comment, all you have to do is say what your favorite YouTube video was on the TFK channel, and uh, there was, what, 520 unique users found. I'm using some random web page, whatever. There was six pages of comments, 528 comments, but 520 unique users. I guess somebody must have commented multiple times or something, but I think it just randomly picks one. So we'll see what happens, but there will be more giveaways. Don't worry. Uh, we're almost to a million subscribers. Don't want to give away what it is, but it's going to be amazing. I promise it's going to be the biggest giveaway we have done on TFK channel, but let's randomly pick a winner. And it is page two, 104 Electrode. Uh, my favorite video is a Rainbow Road deck with Maxi's Galay. That was a lot of fun. Man, Rainbow Road is going to be so great in the next format. Like, it's one of the hyped decks going into standard. I'm excited to play it. But there you go, Electrode. You are the winner. I'm going to send you a message on YouTube. Just uh, let me know what your PTCGO name is. And make sure you have your trading uh, available for me to trade you these four. Tropical Beaches online. Congrats to Electrode. And uh, let's start with the video. All right, guys, so there we go. That was the winner of the four tropical beaches, but today we're going to jump into the video. And I know usually on Friday we do, like, Fan Friday, but next week is going to be kind of different. If you notice, um, we really didn't have that much content, like, YouTube-wise, like, too crazy. But then we got, like, Main Deck Monday, then, like, uh, Tuesday we had, like, my, uh, uh, what? Like, what I tell did well at Nat Nat Worlds, then Thursday we had the vlog and what i'm gonna do for today and next week i'm gonna show some of my favorite decks from the world championships they might not be the best they might be the worst but they are some of the most i think the most creative and coolest decks that i like a lot at the world championships that's what we're gonna do for the next week now on september 1st which is next thursday that's when the actual rotation happens on ptcgo and the reason i'm not covering these new decks yet is because not everybody is playing these new rotated cards and plus it's the last opportunity we can see some of these creative world decks so today we're going to start off with a deck it didn't make top eight but it did make 11th and 12th place and that is volcanian volcanian ex now this was piloted by two japanese players and actually got to talk to one it's actually uh this guy right here there you see his picture his name is oh man koi koi Suratu, I don't know how to say his name, I apologize, but it looks like I have his little business card, I met him in the lobby, thanks to David Hawkman, uh, Hawkman, uh, David, I always forget how to say your last name, um, really good friend of mine, but... I was down in the lobby, he was talking to him about, he was practicing his Japanese, and we actually, I actually get to, that, got to talk to him for a little bit, and asked him, would you, uh, so he made it through day one, if I remember correctly, to day two, got 11th place, and on his card it says Pokemon WCS 2009, um, semi-finalist, so I think in the World Championship he got top four so he, he's obviously a really good player and he has a twitter i'll leave that down below it's right here you kind of see it says follow me on twitter so i'll leave his link down to his twitter um you can go check that out if you want to um but i talked to him for a second and I asked, did he make any changes day one, day two? He said no. Would you make any changes to the list? He said no. But the interesting thing is, when I said, would you like to add stuff? He said yes. Like, he wants more trainer's mill. Um, he didn't have enough trainer's mill. He wanted, like, an AZ, some switching guards, uh, some more blacksmiths. But he said that the deck was fine. He thinks it's great. I can't remember exactly what his match is that he lost to. I think he had an X2, if I remember correctly. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Let's see if I can pull up... Um, from the Charizard Lounge, once again, Andrew Wimbaugh, one of the best websites out there, um, did a whole thing of what did well at Worlds. Let's see if I can go to final st standings. No, it doesn't have what deck he played. Oh, it was actually 10th and 11th, even better. Uh, 10th and 11th, uh, Kajoro Sur to Suratu, but on, name, on here is just K-O-U, K-O-U. You know, you know, guys, I'm so bad at pronouncing names already. But we're, the deck they played, obviously, is Volcanian, Volcanian, Shebe. Now, this deck, I heard a lot of rumors that the Japanese players are playing it out of nowhere. And it's pretty cool. I think this deck is still good after post-rotation. If you notice, he only plays two Blacksmith, and I think this is fine. I think you're f you can get away with playing two Blacksmith because Volcanian is sh so strong in this deck. So let's go over the deck, and let's see what's it about. Now you have two main attackers, Volcanian and Volcanian X. We've already been over Volcanian X, uh, but Volcanian has a really cool attack called Power Heater. It does base 20, which is not a lot, but... You choose two of your bitch Pokemon, attach a Fire G card from your discard pile to each of those Pokemon. So it's kind of like Verizian. 
um, with Emerald Slash, but with Fire and out of Discard Pile, so it's like totally the opposite, but kind of the same, if that makes any sense. And also, Steam Artillery is 100 damage. Now, you might be saying 20 damage, that's not a lot. But, of course, we know Volcanix has this really cool ability, Steam Up, once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a Fire G from your hand. If you do, during this turn, your basic Fire Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, before applying weakness and resistance. So let's say you have three Volcano EXs, right? You triple steam up. You're doing plus 90, plus a 20, which will be enough to knock out a Shebe for 110 damage, which is really, really nice. And that's why Power Healing is so strong. And plus, once you do that, like once you steam up to power up your Volcano, you can then reattach those energies to your bench Pokemon, which is why I think this deck after post rotation is going to be so strong. I think all we really use is loses Blacksmith. Maybe Acrobike. Um, I don't know if they reprinted this card or not. We know it's in Primal Clash, so yeah, we still have Acrobike. I'm pretty sure everything but Blacksmith is gone. Everything, yeah, it, no, it's here still. So yeah, all we lose, oh, and Battlecrest. We lose Battlecrest and Blacksmith, but that's okay. I think we'll still be fine without the trade, the Battlecrest. You could probably just play like four more trainers more or something like that if you want to. So yeah, I think this deck's still gonna be good post rotation and stuff like that. Now, Volcanic X also has a really cool attack. Volcanic, Volcanic Heat does 130 damage, but you can attack during your next turn with it, but you'll still be okay. You can play like Escape Rope to retreat back to the Volcanic X, which is really nice and we'll play two shaman so four four and two shaman now we play four acrobike look at the top two cards of your deck discard one and put the other one in your hand two compressor discard fighter juice and supporter cards four energy retrieval which is how we're going to get back our fighter g's to constantly keep using steam up because you put two basic energies from your discard pile into your hand uh, to escape rope when I asked about this he said he just liked it more um, It was kind of it was kind of difficult to translate um, But we still he said the two escaper was fine. He didn't want any more switches. He didn't want more AZs I think the escaper was cool Especially if your opponent only has like a basic Pokemon the active and a shame on the bench You can escape rope put it in the active shin of the shame and take a knockout that way uh, Two trainers well four ultra ball four via seeker now we play two blacksmith attached two fire energy cards Two Fire to G cards from your discard pile to one of your Fire Pokemon. Two Lysander, two in. Two Pokemon Ranger to move all effects of attacks on each player and his or uh, each player and his or her Pokemon. Now this could be good against Size Toad, especially when they Quake and Punch you. You get Pokemon Ranger, get rid of that condition. Uh, gets Red Eyes against Jolteon. Like Jolteon will be almost on auto loss because you can't hurt it. Um, Reg Ice is pretty much on a loss, but now you have Pokemon Ranger get around it, which is really nice. Uh, four Sycamore, discard your hand, draw 70 cards. Three Fighting Free Well to do 10 more damage and have 40 more HP and 13 Fire Energy. So once again, this is the deck they used to get 10th and 11th place. Links to his Twitter's down below. Links to... Uh, Andrew Wambaugh's uh, 2016 World Championship results, if you want to see what decks did well at Worlds. Uh, besides just, you know, top four, first, second, whatever, you can see all the decks that did well. Congrats, a good job once again on uh, Andrew. That's the, the deck, the, the, uh, his website's always amazing, so make sure you check it out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the new mic as well. I did buy a new mic, so hopefully it does sound a little bit better. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But I hope you have a great Friday, and let's see the deck in action. Like I said, next week we'll see five World decks that I think were some of the most creative decks uh, during the week as well. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, putting against Will Okazaka. I think it's his name. Playing some kind of dark uh, psychic deck. We'll call heads like always. And we won the coin flip. We're going first. Turn up. All right, so into our turn. What do we get? That is the big question. All right, this hand is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, if we top deck a Battle Crusher, we'll be okay because we got Battle Crusher, throw like two Fighter G's in there and maybe an in. Uh, but right now we have Double Volcanion and uh, nothing else. This is scary. All right, but let's see what does my opponent choose to start with. What are they playing? What are we playing against? And Aegis Slash and a Bronzor. This is not good for my opponent. So we'll, we'll Acrobike. Um. A tough decision. I guess we'll go for the Sycamore and uh, we'll stick them away three VS Seekers. Yep, all right, so we'll fire to the active and uh, we'll pass. All right, so in our opponent's turn, uh, we can potentially still knock out this Age Slash next turn. We just have to get really lucky. Like, we have VS Seeker for a second more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we need to do, what, 100? No, 
90 damage to knock out this Aegis Slasher, 80 with the Fighting Thrill to knock it out. So there's a Hoopa. Go to your Scoundering, search for 3 EX Pokemon. Let's see, what is my opponent playing? Wait, we top deck an Ultra Ball. We'll be okay. We'll be okay if we top deck an Ultra Ball, because we Ultra Ball discard 2 Fire Energies, VS Gear for Blacksmith, take a knockout. Alright, so they receive a Lugia, Shaman, and Lugia. Is this the Metal Lugia deck that Jacob Hope played at Cities? I think it is. I think it is. So double Lugia coming down, Age of Slash in the Axe spot. Do they find a way to treat the Age of Slash is the big question. If they don't, they were good to go. Um, So let's see. What does Will have for us? A must man going down to the Age of Slash. Okay. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. All right. All right. So a uh, Faded Town coming down. So Mega Stick, two more damage. Shave coming down. Going to set up for three new cards. Let's see. What do they find? Now, we still can take a knockout of the Ultra Ball. If we Ultra Ball, two Fire Energies, Blacksmith, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Flowstone got out of Hoopa, which they probably should have saved that for Aegis Slash because they give it free retreat. Uh, there was the Sycamore, discarded their hand, drawn seven new cards. And yeah, there's the Zoros and Zork. I imagine they're playing uh, Skyfield. I mean, I saw we saw a deck like this with at City's time. Jacob Hope won a City's. Back in Kentucky, if I remember correctly, there's actually a video of it. I feel I'm playing Metal Lugia. I mean, it's like his baby because uh, he played Mega Mute or Mewtwo Bronzong like a, a year ago, two years ago. But there's a DC going to the active, and is my opponent just going to let this Age of Slash sit here? Man, that'd be kind of dangerous. But also exciting for us because we can take a knockout. Um, but let's see. Okay, just a pass on to our turn. What do we get? And there is an Ultra Ball. Now, once again, the question. <sighs> I think I'm just going to go this way. I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discard Ranger or Lysander. I'm going to grab a, uh, a Volcanion. Okay. We'll put Volcanion down. Use Steam Up. Discard a Fire Energy. All right. And then we'll via Secret Force Sycamore. Discard a hand. Draw in seven new cards. And we are looking for another Volcanion and a Fire Energy with a Fighting Fear Bell. So we see Sycamore. Discard a hand. Draw in seven new cards. Okay. So Acrobike, we have to hit it off this. And oh, we don't get it. All right. So we get a Fighting Fear Bell. Oh, no. We don't have the knockout of just yet. But we'll put a Fire Energy in this guy. We'll use Power Heater. Uh, Let's put a Fighting Fear on it. And then we'll uh, Power Heater. But a fire jump, both these guys are 120. No, we were off. Oh man, but my opponent's turning their draw card. And the reason I put the fighting throw on it is because we can't knock it out next turn without using a steam up. If he does like hex maniac us, we can still hit it for 60, which is a knockout, which would be enough to knock out this age of slash because that's 50 HP left. So I think that was a smart play. Bronze on coming down on the field with this metal links ability. Okay, and uh, let's see what else does my opponent have. Man, we missed the other volcano, we missed the other ultra ball. No trade as well yet, but I know we only play two. There's the Avia Seeker for Sycamore. Go ahead and discard the hand. Drawn seven new cards. Our opponent needs to find those Zorks because they don't. They had a Skyfield. They just discarded the Skyfield? Why? Why did they not put it down? That's definitely what they need. They need a Skyfield to put down Zoros. Zoros and Zorks is what they need to help them out against Volcanion, I bet. I don't think Lugia is going to help you that much. We can't just one-shot it, but they can potentially one-shot us. There's a Megaphone, so now we can't. We, well, we'll still take a knockout because of Steam Up. Which is great. Uh, we see a Metal Injury going to that guy. Okay. And there's a Compressor going to discard three cards out of their deck. Now, I kind of want to sick them more, but then I kind of don't want to. I would just want to, like, save and make sure we hit a Volcanion. Like, double Volcanion is what we need next turn to Volcanion Heat to knock out a Lugia the following turn. Because it needs to do 190. So, we see a Metal Injury going to that guy. We see a Metal Injury put a Fire Injury on the Lugia. We could see a potential Retreat uh, this turn. Which should be kind of bad because i mean if we talk like an escape rope would be okay but nope just pass on to our turn we get a volcanian that's what i like to see and we would does we have any fire energy this card probably have one so i'm just going to uh do we tap yeah we'll attach return power heater uh oh wait no we need to steam up we need to steam up hold on hold on i almost messed up there so we'll steam up discard a fire energy it's not we can take a knock on Age of Slash. That was almost misplay on my part. So we'll power heater. Taking a knockout, doing 100 damage. We'll put a fire energy on this guy and a fire energy on this guy. So that way we can power up double Volcanians and a Volcanian EX. We'll go down to four price cards. We get a Shebe and a Lysander. Alrighty. So potentially we can knock out this Lugia next turn. We just gotta get kind of lucky. Find another uh what is it, another Volcanian EX, which is still be okay. 
Uh, wait, no, we don't. We don't need to find another Volcania. We already do three, six. Yeah, we already can t take a knock on a Lugia next turn. So things are looking good for us. Have we even played a Blacksmith yet? I see a Blacksmith, but I don't recall playing it. I think, I'm pretty sure we just, like, mainly powered at those Volcania Xs, which is the cool thing about this deck. I think this deck can survive post-rotation. Like, like, don't get me wrong, Blacksmith is amazing, but I think we can, I think the deck still survives. As you see right now, we haven't used Blacksmith yet, which is great. Uh, probably just add more consistency cards. So we see Metal Dragon and Lugia. And we're not even going to see a knockout just yet, but there's Lysander bringing up the Volcanix with the three energies. Does my opponent have enough for a knockout? No, they don't. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, which will not knock us out. But the only problem is we don't have any fire energies in our discard pile. So here comes Lugia X coming to the active spot. We do play 13, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Shave coming down, setting up for 4. New cards, and let's see what do they get. Have they attached a DC yet? Deep Hurricane could be scary. Uh, but nope, air ball for what, 100? Yep. Alright, so on our turn, oh, give me a fire energy. Alright, so, oh my goodness, we got it. So we can Volcano hit, uh, oh no, steam up. Discard a fire energy. Uh, we'll put down Volcanian, and then we'll Shebe set up for three, looking for another Fire Energy. And let's see, do we find it or not? And oh my goodness, there's multiple Fire Energies. So, we'll do another Steam Up. Discard a Fire Energy. We'll attach a Fire Energy to this guy. Fighting Fury Belt the Bench. And three, six, seven. Yeah, so we're knocking out the... Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, we're doing 190 right now. So yeah, Volcano Heat, 490, knock out the active. We'll go down to two prize cards, but next turn we can win if we get a fire energy. And nope, no fire energy just yet. Uh, but we can't, uh, yeah, we need one more fire energy to knock out Lugia. But either way, we have energy, but we have Sycamore, we're good to go. And I feel like great. We also can just energy, but license shame and take the game regardless. Wait, no, all we need, no, we have, we have the game already. What am I talking about? If they sit at the Lugia, we can energy vote, put two fire energies in their hand, attach one steam up, knock out the Lugia because that's 170 HP, and we're going to win the game without a blacksmith. Now, regardless, we did kind of had a little bit of help with weakness, but I think we still would have won regardless. That's just how good this deck is. So you see another metal energy going to Lugia. My opponent needs an end right now to help him in this match. But if they don't play an end, we're going to win the game. We have the energy vote. We have the steam up attack. Okay, so a DC going to that guy, okay? And let's see what else does my opponent have. They haven't taken a price card yet, which is pretty crazy. I know the deck's a little bit slower than ours, but man. This, okay, there's a judge. That's what my opponent needed. They're going to judge us, put it down to four cards. But, I mean, we're still looking good. We have, oh, all four Via Seekers are gone. But there's a new achievement. There's a fire team. We got the game. This is going to be easy. All right, Muscle Man going down to Luga. Not even a Fighting Fear Belt. And uh, we will take the game. Will Fighting Fear Belt save him? Yeah, it would have saved him. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, yeah, we would have been 10 damage short if they had a Fighting Fear Belt. Because it would have been 210. We wanted the 200 damage. Uh, but here comes Lugia X. Wait. Yeah, we, we have the knockout regardless. See, so, yep, there's a Deep Hurricane. Going to knock out the active doing 170 discard stadium. But we will send in the Volcanian EX and we'll take the game. Go, go, Volcanian. Get him, buddy. So in our turn, we will attach a Fire Energy. Energy will get two Fire Energies in our hand. But we are just going to use Steam Up. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So Steam Up, discard a Fire Energy. And we'll Volcanian Heat for 170 damage to knock out the active Lugia X. And, yeah, there's game one of the Volcanian Volcanian deck, which is still... Really strong, as we saw there, we did not use Blacksmith at all, and that's just how good this deck is. I think post-rotation, it still survives, it's still going to be beating a bunch of people, and they're not going to expect it, especially since everybody's hyping, like, Mega Cross and Lugia and stuff, I mean, Mega Cross and, like, Mega Mewtwo and stuff like that, but this deck still has potential, as you see right now, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second, we'll see, can we get another victory with the Volcanian Volcanian deck? Alright, you're putting against Danny Meta playing a, uh, a Psychic Lightning and a Colors deck. Let's call heads, like always. And Tails! No, they get to go first. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, we can, like, uh, use Volcanians, like, Baby Volcanians first tech, which is pretty good. Uh, but let's see if they're going to decide who goes first. That is the big question. Alright, so we're actually going to go first. Wait, are we playing against Night March? That's what I imagine we're playing against. So, it's in a Volcanian, okay. Please wait while your opponent chooses an active Pokemon. All right, so let's say no. Uh, I, I mean, I imagine we're playing against Night March. Yep, there's a Doltic. All right, so we're going to Ultra Ball, discard him in, and a Sycamore. And with this, we're grabbing another Volcanion. 
We'll put that guy down, attach a fire juice to the bench one, and we will end put both players at six new cards. So how does Volcanion stack up against Night March? We're going to find out here today. All right, so we get another Volcanion, which is great. We'll put that guy down, and we will pass on to our opponent's turn. Now, luckily, my opponent, like, needs more shamans than we do, so they'll they'll put down more shamans than we have to, which is great for us. Um... Yeah, so, man, Power Heater doesn't even knock out a Joltik. But there's a DC going to the active, all right? Uh, there's a Pumpkin Boo hitting the field. They still need, what, seven Night Marches in the Discard Pal, six of the Fighting Fear Belt. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball going to discard two cards and probably grabbing Mr. Shebe himself. And going to use Shea, uh, going to use setup set up for six new cards in their hand. But let's see, what do they discard with the Ultra Ball? They discard a, a, a little Lampet and a Megaphone, which Megaphone being discarded, is good and bad. We know there's not one in their deck anymore, but they play Puzzle Time, so they can get it back that way if they want to. Uh, so we'll see Shaman probably hit the field. Oh, yes! Puzzle Time being played right now. That's one less card that we have to worry about, and I'm okay I'm okay with this. I'm fine with Puzzle being played right now. Alright, so Puzzle Time. Gonna rearrange the top three cards of their deck. It doesn't matter. Shaman's gonna set up. Draw five. They're gonna draw those three plus two more. Um, so the setup doesn't really matter. But it's always cool to like make sure you draw more cards with your Shea base. All right. So let's see what does our opponent do? They have Shame, and we know that for sure. They have a supporter card in their discard pile. They do not. Megaphone, Ultra Ball, and a Puzzle of Time with the Lampet. So nothing too crazy right now. We're just waiting to see what Danny Meta does here with the Shea Bay. Does he set up? Draw six new cards. If we have an in in our discard pile, so we can VS Seeker for an in. I don't want to play Sycamore and discard all this stuff. We need to save it. So, what will Danny do is the big question. Danny, come on now. Danny. Danny, come on, man. Put down the Shea Bay. Set up for five new cards. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so set up, going to draw five new cards. Let's see what does our opponent have. Now, they're still not taking a knockout. They're, they're only doing 20 uh, with Night March, which is not too good for my opponent, um, especially if they don't knock us out now. We could potentially knock out the Joltik, especially if we get, like, a Fighting Throw and a Fire Energy. That would be, like, the most optimal thing, uh, not putting down EXs. That would be great. How many Acrobrike? No Acrobrike, no Trainers Mall, which is great. Okay, so we have those resources. Via Seeker for in. We top deck something. Get a Fire Energy. And we'll be A-OK. -okay, but what will Danny do with right now? And also, since he put down a Shaman, we can knock out that guy with the Steam Artillery. All right, so uh, Dimitri Valley, Ultra Ball. Go ahead and discard two cards from their hand. And let's see, what do they decide to discard? Maybe a Night Marcher or two? That could be really great for them. Yeah, there's a Lampin and a Lysander being discarded. So right now, they're doing 40 damage, which they need. Three more Pokemon. Oh, no. They need five more Pokemon. Another Shaman hitting the field. All right. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with another Shaman coming down and going to set up for four new cards. And let's see, what does our opponent find? All right, so set up. Going to put four new cards in their hand. Okay. And uh, let's see, what do they have is a big question. There's a Compressor. They're going to discard three. They need one more in there. They'll be up to five. No way. They'll be up to five, so they need two more after that. What math am I doing right now? I know I said seven from the start, but man. All right, so we see Compressor probably discarding uh, two Lampets and maybe a Pumpkin Boo and or Joltik, depending on how they want to do this. I think discarding the Joltik's going to be the better play. I, I mean, they don't know that we don't play stadiums, but uh, yeah. But we'll see what the compressor discards. Like I imagine, like I said, two lampets and something else. But that's still not a knockout, so they might have to discard a sycamore for VS Seeker. And there's, uh, yeah, lampets and a Joltik. So I imagine they prize the lampet. So Hex Maniac, and we'll just see a pass on the. Oh yeah, Night March for what? Uh, not a lot. So <laughs> 80 damage. All right. So on our turn, what do we get? We get a Fire G. So put that on the active, and we'll VS Seeker for in. We're looking for. A fighting fear about to knock out this Joltik. Let's see what happens with the Zen. Do we find a fighting fear or not? And we don't find one. And we can't use we can't use anything really. We can't use steam up. Uh, so I'm just going to. I guess I'm just going to power heater for 20, and call it a day. Yeah, I mean there's no fire energies. We can put one in the discard pile, but I don't know if I really want to right now. Um, sure. Let's discard an Ultra Ball and fire energy. And with this, we'll get a another Volcanian. So we'll put four Volcanians down, we'll put it down on this guy, and we'll Power Heater. Uh, we'll put a Fire Energy on this guy to kind of set it up, uh, get ready for a Lysander, Shaman, whatever. 
And uh, we can potentially just knock out one with this power heater next turn. So in our opponent's turn, they have to deal with four Volcanian. And once they do that, we'll have Volcanian EX out. And we might be able to win before they do that. But next turn, we get a Volcanian. Uh, take a knockout. Even with the Fighting Fruit, we can knock it out next turn. Wait, can we? Four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. If we get a Fire Energy and a Fighting Fruit, we can knock out the Joltik regardless next turn. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens. I mean... Like I said, they put down two Shamans, which is great for us. We can use Steam Octillery to knock it out, which is pretty nice. Uh, there's a switch into the Pumpkin Boo, okay. Now, they had to fight if you want this guy. I mean, we can't even knock it out regardless. It has 60 HP. That's too high. So, another puzzle time. Uh, so, they have two left in the deck, which is great. Uh, it means less stuff for, like, DCEs and everything like that. So, let's see. The puzzle time going to rearrange the top three cards of their deck. And will they put another Shaman X on the field or not is the big question. Uh, no, they're actually using double puzzle to get a Joltik and a Compressor, okay? Very interesting. So, now they're out of... Uh, puzzle times. They've used three puzzles. All right, so Compressor, go to discard three cards out of their deck. They need a DCE. That's the main thing. They need to find their DCE. If they do not, they're going to be in trouble. Regardless, they're going to be in trouble either way because my opponent will have, like, all, like, three puzzle times in their discard pile, and all four DCEs, when they get discarded, they're gone forever unless they play Special Charge. So that's the thing to note. Do they play Special Charge or not? If they don't play Special Charge, they have no way to get back their DCs, especially since all their puzzles are gone. All right, so 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's three Night Marchers somewhere. There's an Ultra Ball discarding Ultra Ball to Dimension Valley. Probably grab another Shaman X is what I imagine. Nope, a Mew, okay? So a Mew coming down. And will we see a Via Seeker for Sycamore? Uh, nope, just a straight Sycamore regardless. So do they find a DC or not? They have a uh, town map. Let's see what's priced. I imagine Lampet's in here. Yep, there's a Lampet. Okay, Fighting for going to the active. And what else does our opponent have? That's the big question. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, all right. So we need... There's a DC. So they'll take a knockout this turn. And I'm going to send this Volcanium with the, with the Steam Octillery. That's ready to go. So Night March. Uh, going to take a knockout. And let's see. They could... I don't know, take out VS Seeker most likely, or an Acrobike. I mean, VS Seeker seems great, Acrobike seems great. I, th I don't think I'll grab the VS Seeker, just to guarantee the supporter card next turn. And yep, that's what they're going to grab. So we'll send the Vulcanian. And on our turn, we're just going to VS Seeker for an in. Okay, there's an Acrobike, we'll play that first. We'll grab the Inner Retrieval, which is great. We'll get that Fire Energy out of our discard pile. Okay, so let's we'll grab that. Grab the fire energy, put that here, and we'll via seeker for an end, get a new hand, us uh, six new cards. But we will knock out the active pump caboose. So let's see in. I'm right, gonna discard that, draw six new cards. Alright, so there we go. We finally start getting some stuff. So put down Volcano EX. And um I'm gonna compressor. And with compressor, I'm gonna discard two fires and a blacksmith, okay? And I'm just going to uh, Steam Octillery for the knockout. Okay, so we'll do 100 damage. We'll just knock out the Pumpkin Boo. We'll go down to 5 price cards. And there we go. We get an Ultra Ball, which is great. I'm trying to dig next turn for a Blacksmith. Um, especially if they knock us out right now. We can Blacksmith the Energy Ball. Um, and be a okay. I think that'd be great to do. So I think, like, Attack of Volcania is the best attacker next turn. Because they can knock out anybody. They can knock out the Mew, the Joltik, blah, blah, blah. All right, here goes Joltik. Because we have to knock out a Mew and then knock out Shaman, then knock out Shaman. I think that's the way we have to go with this match. All right, so we see Joltik coming up. And already has a DC. Take a knock out this turn regardless. There's a Fighting Fuel. Going to the Mew to give it 90 HP. Okay. All right, well, okay, so now since they put up this guy, if they don't touch a Fighting Fuel, we can actually just steam up a Power Heater for the knockout, which is great. And then we can uh, Blacksmith maybe on this guy and get ready to knock out the Shaman the following turn, which I think is the correct play. Uh, so let's see, what does our opponent do? Um, they take a knockout regardless. We know that for sure. There's an Acrobite going to look at to Guard's other deck. Discarding a VS Seeker, which is very interesting. Uh, they already have one in their hand. Um, so I wonder what they discard. Then the card must be like a DC or something because... Nothing beats a, a Via Seeker besides a DC in my in my head. Alright. So, I hear the Ice Cream Man. Alright, so it's in a Volcanian. Uh, so he has three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. He can potentially knock out a Volcanian next, next turn. Okay. So, we're going to Acrobike. Grab Volcanian. We could put down Shaman, but it's a liability. So, we'll grab Volcanian. We'll Acrobike again. We'll grab a. Uh, 
We're gonna have energy but I think that's a little bit better to save right now. I think yeah, I think it's better for sure. Well trainer's mill. Grab a Lysander, okay? Alright, so grab Lysander. We will energy evil. Grab a f double fires. We have a sh do we have, we have the shaman deck as well, so that's great for the next turn. So put a fire energy in the active. We will power heater for the knockout. Alright. We'll put a fire to both Volcania, so one and two. We'll go down to four prize cards, and I think the game right now is to well we can't knock out we can't knock out Shame next turn unless we like escape rope or something like that. So man, we might have to wait. Oh man, okay, we might be in a little bit of trouble because we didn't hit a blacksmith this turn. We needed the blacksmith to power up Volcanian, uh, so that way we can next turn license over Shaman to win the, to win the game or take a knock out the Shaman or power of the other Volcanian. I don't know, this match is weird, I guess. I don't know, really. I don't know how this works out. Uh, but next turn, we license it up Joltik. Here goes the Pumpkaboo. We could maybe just knock out the Pumpkaboo as well. Uh, because we can do a ton of damage. So there's a DC going to the active. This is their third DC as well. Uh, so that's something to note. But if they take a knockout right now, they have double via Seeker in the hand. I don't think they can, though. Uh, three, six, seven, eight. That's not enough just yet to knock out. A, yeah, just a Night March. Yeah, so we're good to go. Go down to three. All right. So we'll send in Volcanion. Let's see. Okay. All right. So it's in the Volcanian. And this will be the third DC as well, which is something to note. So they have only one left after this. So we'll uh, steam up. Discard a Fire to G. Steam up. Discard a Fire to G. And what I'm going to do. Oh, man. I'm going to Ultra Ball. No, let's, let's interview him first. Grab Double Fire. We'll Ultra Ball, discard one and two. Grab a Shaman. Okay. Uh, we could grab a Shaman, or we can grab the Volcanian. I need either one of these cards. I think grabbing the Shaman right now is the better play. So grab Shaman. Three, six, seven, eight. We'll put a Fire to G. Shaman. Oh man, yeah. Let's license him with Shaman, and we're going to go for it. We'll license him with Shaman. We'll set it for five new cards. We need to find another Volcanian. If we do, we can take a knockout. I know that's probably not the smartest play, but if we can knock it out... Uh, no, we don't hit it. Oh, no. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. I wanted to hit the Volcanian and take a knockout. No, we should have just... Oh, man, we should have just grabbed the Volcanian regardless. All right, so Power Heater... For 80 damage, we're so close. So put a fire jump off these guys, okay? So one and two. All right, so now, oh, we should have just knocked out the pump kaboo to get rid of his <laughs> to get rid of his third DC. He takes a knockout. We take off his fourth DC, and he doesn't have any more left unless he plays special charge. Oh no! But he still needs to find a way to retreat the shaman. Okay, all right. So maybe we're okay. He's already played a switch. Um, he could sky return, but if he sky returns, we'll be in the same situation as earlier. Oh, man. Okay, so there's puzzle time. Gonna re rearrange top three cards other deck. Okay. Yeah, I should have just knocked out the pump kaboo. I just really wanted to knock out the shaman with the with the one energy power heater. I think that's me being too like uh, too confident or something. But we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe opponent will be in a bad situation. There's a Lysander bringing up Shebe. Do they have a way to retreat this uh, shaman or not? Is a big question right now. Oh, man, did they do? Uh, no, just a pass on to our turn. That is great. So put a fire engine in the active. We will retreat into this guy. All right. So things are looking great all of a sudden. And we'll power heater. Wait, 8, 9, 10. We'll put a fighting field in the active. And then we'll power heater for the knockout. Okay. So there's 30 damage exactly. Bring it up to 110. We'll put a fire engine in this guy. And a fire engine in this guy. I'm going down to two prize cards. And what does my opponent have? There's an acrobike and an energy. If we hit the... All we need is a, a Lysander. We can via Seeker for Lysander, bring up Shame, take a knockout on it. Even they put a Fighting Fruit Belt because we have double Fire Energies in our hand as of right now. Alright, so there's a Fighting Fruit Belt. Oh, he should have put on the Shaman just to protect it a little bit more, but he looks like he is going to try to do. He's going to try to protect that Pumpkin. That was probably really fast. But it looks like we will take a game against this Nightmare Jack. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you can see how strong Volcanian is. Man, I kind of, I think I made some misplays. I know some people probably pointed out. But I think we're okay. I think we're going to take the game and uh, show how good Volcania is. I think, once again, we didn't even use Blacksmith this game, uh, which is a key thing to note. 
Man, I think it's like without Blacksmith, you can still play this deck. I'm fairly confident. If they ever see a Night March, not gonna interact if doing 170 damage. We'll set up the Volcanix and we'll pretty much win the game from here. So let's go go Volcanian and let's see what's gonna happen. So in our turn, what do we get? We get a VS Seeker. I'm gonna Acrobite looking for another Volcanian and we don't hit it. Whatever. We'll grab a fire energy. We will steam up. Discard a fire energy. We'll steam up number two. Discard a Fire Energy. We will be a Seeker for a Lysander. Bring up that Shaman X and we'll take the game with the Volcanian Volcanian deck. So come here, Shay Bay. Sorry, buddy. Don't want to hit. Don't really want to hurt you, but I want to win the game. So we'll Volcanic Heat, Volcanic Heat for the knockout, doing 190 damage, and we'll take the game. Uh, there's a Pokemon Ranger and a Lysander coming to our hand, and there we go, guys. There's the Volcanian Volcanian deck. Uh, one deck from Worlds, but like I said, we'll see five more games or five more days with World decks, and then finally on Monday we'll start switching over to the format because by then it will have converted on PTC on PTCGO when September 1st hits. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the power of Volcanian, Volcanian EX deck. Let's look at our opponent's deck real quick. Did they actually play Special Charge? Um, they did not. So if I would have went for the knockout, we would have been A-OK. -okay. They didn't have any more energies, and we would have won the game that way. All right, guys, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Friday. Uh, congrats to the winner one more time already. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.